you guys, it's Alyssa, and I am back with another reading today. So, as you can see, we have a lot of choices today. Um, this is a lot more groups than I normally do, but this was the number that I felt led to do today, so that's what we're doing. And today's topic is, as you can read from the title, February Predictions. Alright, I love doing these, like, predictions readings. I think they're just, I think they're very fun. Um, and since we have so many choices today, I'm hoping that the readings aren't going to be like super long, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, before we start, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for all the support. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've gotten a lot of new ones lately, and thanks to all my old subscribers. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, also, all my information is in the description box. I do offer private readings. The link to my Etsy store is down there where you can buy one. Also, if you want to donate to the channel, my PayPal link is in the description as well. So, um, let's just go through these really quickly. Um, the first group is going to be Dragon. Group two is The Long Road Home. Excuse my handwriting, um, it kind of looks like ass, but whatever. Group three is a familiar song. Group four is hearts. Group five is Aphrodite. And group number six is April showers. So whichever one of these cards or words or phrases, um, is calling you the most, go ahead and make your choice and we will get started with the first one. Okay, group number one, what's going down for you guys in February? So, really what I'm seeing here is you guys stepping away from a situation that hasn't been working out for you and moving towards something new okay so the first three cards are the seven of swords the four of swords and the wheel so with the seven of swords as you can see these two people in this card are facing away from each other and they're looking kind of introspective they're looking a little disappointed like Mm, things haven't worked out the way that they planned and I feel like this is talking about you guys um, feeling kind of down and just kind of sad about something that hasn't you know hasn't worked out the way you thought it would or hoped it would um, and now I feel like a lot of you are in this four of swords energy which is you know you're you're just kind of thinking, you're you're contemplating, you're reflecting back on what happened and trying to figure out maybe um, where it went wrong. Um, but overall, I feel like you guys are moving away from the situation um, because the wheel is about movement, okay? Um, so you guys, is, your wheels are turning, and I feel like they are turning away from this person that you've been involved with. Um, also, this is a card that is about um, divine intervention, divine guidance. So I feel like um, you're being guided to move away, to move in a new direction. Um, we also have this card, which is another one that talks about um, divine plans okay so I do feel like you know the fact that this situation this relationship whatever it is that you're moving away from I think the reason that it didn't work out was because there's something else for you that the universe is trying to push you towards okay so um Going back to this energy that you're in now, it feels like you're kind of just, um, kind of just disappointed. I'm not feeling a lot of actual sadness or anything or anger or anything like that. It just feels like disappointment, you know, 
and they're like, well, you know, I was hoping that this would turn out this way, but it hasn't, so I'm just kind of bummed about it. Like, that's how you guys are feeling to me. Um, and some of you need to remember that, you know, it's not... For, some of you need to know that it's not your fault that this situation didn't work out. It didn't, you know, it didn't fall apart because you weren't good enough or because you weren't, or because of anything that you did or didn't do. Um, that's just for some of you. Um, but I mean, all of you should, should remember that. You are good enough. Okay. Um... And, you know, the reason that this hasn't worked out is because there's something better for you on the horizon. It's like this situation is reaching its conclusion, okay? Um, because there is something new on its way. This is a time to take action. New moon in Aries. Um, this card can talk about somebody new coming into your life, okay? Um, and this card also talks about, you know... It's time to uh, take a break from thinking so much and start actually, you know, putting putting plans into action, okay? Because we have a, another card that talks about action, taking action. Um, so I'm getting that February is going to be a month where you're not going to want to stay at home, you know, and just chill by yourself. You're going to want to get out during the month of February. You're going to want to um, just enjoy yourself. Just get out, like, into the world and do fun things and have a good time. And I feel like um, this new thing is going to come to you. Um because we have, you deserve love. We have chemistry. So with this card, it's like this new person that I feel like is going to be coming towards you is um, somebody that you're going to feel very drawn to, very attracted to. Somebody who is going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. Um, and this no card, I feel like, is saying that this old connection that you're kind of disappointed about is... Um, you know, it didn't work out for a reason. Um, it's, this is kind of like the universe um, has blocked it from making any progress. You know, it, the universe blocked it from going any further. Um, because it has something better in store for you. Okay? We also have inner temple devotion. Tune in to the portal of your heart. So this is basically saying... Um, this month, it's going to be important that you listen to your intuition, okay? If your intuition is telling you to go to a particular place or do a particular thing, you need to be listening for that and do and, and do follow its instructions, basically, um, because it's going to, it's trying to put you on the path to finding this new person, okay? Um and, I mean, if you don't listen to it, you know, that doesn't mean you're never going to meet them. It just means that it could be delayed a little while longer. Um, but your intuition and your guides and the universe in general is trying to put you on the fast track, I think, to, to um, finding this new, this new person, this new thing that's going to start a new phase in your life. Um, and for some of you... You aren't necessarily going to actually meet this person in February. I think you're just going to be working towards that, okay? Because, um, you know, timing is always difficult to predict because everybody has free will and every choice that people make, you know, affects outcomes, right? So, you know, you you might decide against you know, something that your intuition is trying to tell you to do, which, which would delay this meeting, or, um, you might, or, or they might, you know, make a decision that delays the meeting. Um, but you know, it's, um, if it's meant to be, then you will find each other and the universe will bring you together one way or another. 
Um, so don't worry about that. You know, there's not really any way that you can totally, totally screw something like this up. Um, just be listening, okay? And keep your head up and be on the lookout for signs, okay? And remember that you are deserving of love and you are a very lovable person. And there are so many bigger and better things waiting for you out there. Okay, group number one, that's really all the messages that I'm getting for you guys today. Um, this was a quick read, so I mean it's I mean it's good. I like this energy. Um, so yeah, I hope that resonated with you. Feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I do love to hear from you guys. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. Bye. Hi, group two. So what is coming your way in the month of February? So this is kind of an interesting reading. Um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're already in a relationship. Um, the first cards that came out were the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. So I feel like some of you guys are going to be... I want to say some of you guys are going to be proposed to in February. Or you may already be planning on getting married. Or... Or somebody is going to simply be coming into your life um, or coming towards you. I, I feel like, you know, whoever you're dealing with is someone you already know, okay? Um, somebody could be coming towards you and just making you an offer to, you know, date, to an offer of commitment. Um, and for others of you, it's more serious, like marriage, okay? Because the Four of Wands is a marriage card, and the Three of Pentacles talks about laying down groundwork, okay, for for building upon, okay? So, you know, some of you guys are in the process of laying down the foundations to, you know, continue to build upon your relationship with somebody. And we got the very soon card, so I do feel like this is going to be coming very soon, right, in February, um, or close to February, you know, it's timing is difficult to predict because everybody has free will and the choices that we make do influence um, outcomes. So, but you know, this is um, something that it will be happening soon, okay, in the grand scheme of things. Um, we also have listen to your intuition and it's up to you. So, I feel like this, um, this offer that is going to be made to you, or maybe already has been made to you, um, for some of you guys, it feels like there's, feels like you haven't gotten the whole story, okay, because we have the moon card here, and this card talks about something being hidden, okay, um, so it feels like the person that you guys are dealing with could have things that they are hiding from you for some reason. And the cards are saying that you need to be listening to your intuition, listening to your guides, because, you know, that's going to help you to make the decision that will be for your highest good regarding this situation. I think that, you know, what these cards are saying is that you need to, there's some, something about this connection is, um, you need to examine, okay? Because, and that's, that's really what I'm getting from this card, the religious factors, um, because it seems like, you know, it seems like a lot of you guys need to really examine um, whether or not this person or whether or not this relationship or this offer that they're giving you is going to be good for you ultimately. Because it feels like a lot of you guys are trying to manifest a better existence for yourself. Okay, we got the Magician card. We also got Awakening. 
we got Birthing a New Age, and we got Unbound. So all three of these cards are kind of similar to me, um, at least in this context. It's like, you know, you're trying to create a new reality for yourself. You're trying to, you know, awaken, you know, to your, um, I want to say higher being, you know, your, your divine nature. Um, you're just trying, you're trying to better your life. You're trying to let go of old things that don't serve you anymore. Um, also that goes along with the four of pentacles. This card often talks about control and holding on to things, but it's like you, you need to let go. And that's, I feel like what you're trying to do. You're trying to let go of old things that aren't working for you anymore. And I think the cards are saying that this relationship is one of those things that you may need to think about letting go. Okay. Um, even though it is seeming like it, it, it could be seeming like, you know, it's really going somewhere, but I'm just getting this feeling that there could be things that you are not aware of right now that, you know, in the future could reveal themselves and, and really affect you. We've got be bold and make the first move, which is clarified by the two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles is about balance. All right. And it's also about making a choice. So you again have a choice to make here. Um, and I think that choice is, you know, do you, Hold on to this or do you release it? Okay, do you take the leap and, you know, trust that moving on is the right thing to do or do you hold on? We also got bring love into this situation, new moon in Aquarius. So I'm not entirely sure what this card is about. I'm going to get a clarifier for that. Oh, wow. We have the three, four, and five of swords. <laughs> so it seems like this connection that you are involved in now may not actually be as loving or love-based as you think it is. Yeah, it feels like, it just feels like this person that you're involved with could have ulterior motives, right? That you're not, that are being a secret from you right now. And, um, or it's like, you know, there are aspects of their personality that you're not aware of yet that, you know, could come to light, you know, once you become more involved with them or once you get married to them or, you know, become tied to them in some way. But it's like, whatever the case is, this, these cards are really saying that you need to seriously think about, you know, this, whatever relationship that you are in, whatever connection you're involved in, and really think about, is this actually serving me? Is this actually good for me? Um, or should I release it? Should I let it go? Should I move on? Okay. That's what you're being asked, group two. Um, I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. I love to read your comments. Um, I try to read all the comments, but I don't always see them all because I get, I get a lot these days actually. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time group two. We're going to move on now to group number three. Okay, group number three. So what's coming your way in February, 2019? So the message here is actually pretty clear to me straight away. Um, it feels like a lot of you guys are sensitive. It feels like some of you guys are pretty intuitive. Um, maybe some empaths among you. Um, because we got three cards that are talking about, you know, 
your spiritual well-being. Um, we have align your life, what is not aligned or needs to change. We also have, oops, I just threw that card at myself. Um, we also have get grounded, empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. So um, these two cards, if you are not already doing these things, if you're not already grounding yourself and trying to align your energy, then this is saying that that's what you need to be doing, okay? Um, also, listen to your intuition. If you're not already, be listening to your intuition. Um, really try to hone in on that. Um, really try to develop that sense of, you know, discernment, okay? Work on recognizing that inner voice of yours, okay? Um, but, you know, if, if you're already doing that, you know, for some of you, I feel like this is advice saying that that's what you need to be doing. But for those of you already doing that, um, this is basically just saying, good job, keep it up, okay? Um, I feel like for most of you guys, you have been really focused on yourself lately. Um, I'm getting a strong feeling of healing has been going on. Um, a feeling of independence. I, I think that you guys in the past have... I want to say in the recent past, you know, maybe in the last year, in 2018, you were involved with someone who really kind of messed you up and you got your energy all out of whack. And, you know, that's why you've had to realign yourself and be grounding yourself and um, get back into the swing of things, you know, energetically and spiritually, intuitively. Um, but I am seeing here that in February, there is going to be a new start for you. Okay, we have the full card, which is a brand new beginning. We also have the six of wands, which is about victory and success and recognition. And then we also have the page of pentacles. The page is a messenger, and a lot of times um, the pages are offering something. Okay, with this being pentacles, it's like, I feel like somebody is going to be offering you something that is going to be practical, is going to be stable, is going to be healthy, okay, um, good for you. Not something that's going to be kind of up in the air. This is not going to be somebody who's going to be in and out, okay. But yeah, I am feeling someone, for some of you, it's going to be somebody new that you're going to be meeting. And for others of you, it's, it will be somebody that you already know. Um, that, that's just going to depend. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing a new opportunity for you to get into a new relationship with someone. Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys are all are still kind of um, hesitant, okay? You might still be a little bit uncertain about whether or not you are ready um, to get involved with anybody else. However, you've got this card, which says you are ready. You have taken this time to heal, and you are, you're there. Like, you're, you're ready to jump back in, okay? Um, you've, you've retreated, you've taken time out to yourself to fix things, to fix yourself, right? And you know that it's now safe for you to love, okay? You just have to have confidence in yourself, okay? This is, um, confidence is the key to your success. So, you know, if you want a successful relationship, you just have to be confident that you are capable of achieving that. Um, and we also have hold your vision, so, um, you know, you, some of you guys, you have goals in terms of relationships. You have standards that you want your partner to meet. And this is saying that you should not settle. Okay. You should not budge on those standards. Um, because if you do that, then you're more likely to end up with somebody who's, who's not going to make you happy, you know, who's not going to make you as happy as they could. Um, so this card is just a reminder not to lower your standards for someone 
just because you don't want to be alone. It's also a reminder that you have what it takes, okay? Um, also, I feel like some of you guys have been trying to manifest something in your lives, such as a relationship or a particular person. And this is saying that you need to continue working towards that because, you know, even if it feels like it's not working, it is. Okay, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You just can't see the progress that's being made yet. Okay, but there is progress happening. So yeah, group number three, that's really all the messages I'm getting for you. This was a really short one, um, but it's, it's good energy. It's really positive, and I'm excited for you guys. I think you're going to have a good February. I think you're going to have a good, um, a good winter and spring season in general because, um, you know, timing is pretty tricky. So uh, this offer, this new person might not actually come in during February, but you know, this, their energy is here now. Okay. It's just, um, you know, the energy is fluid. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right. So group number three, that's about it. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If this resonated with you, feel free to leave me a comment. I love to read, uh, what you guys have to say. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number four. Okay, group number four. What's coming your way in February? Um, so I'm getting a really clear story from these cards. Um, I feel like most of you guys who chose this option have been involved with somebody that you know is not good for you. Um, but it feels like you have stayed with them because you felt like there was nothing else. You know, you felt like it was this or nothing and you didn't want to have nothing. So, you you ended up with this person and um even though you know they're not right for you um and i feel like i feel like you guys who chose this group are very intuitive you have the or at least you have the potential to be because we have the high priestess we have listened to your intuition we have new moon in pisces and we have the Age of Light, which says you've been training for this for lifetimes. So, um, you guys, you know, you've been involved in this connection knowing that it's not right for you because I think because you are intuitive. Um, but like I said, you've, you've just been, you were tired of waiting for, and for something better to come along. And, you know, since you've been with this person, I feel like you're still waiting for something better to come along. But it's like you're still with them because you don't want to be alone for some of you guys. Um, but it's like, either way, you're not happy. We have the five of cups. So you're so, so you're not happy. Um, and you know, with this high priestess being here, that this is not right. You know, they're not good for you. You know, this connection's not good for you. It's not serving your highest good. Um, but what I'm getting here is that there is something better. We've got the Ace of Cups and we have this card, which literally says there's something better. So, um, something much, much better is coming towards you. And, um, I've been saying this in all the readings so far, but you know, this stuff may not necessarily all happen in February, but you know, this is the energy that's going to be around you in February. So you might actually, 
I, f I feel like a lot of you are going to end up getting involved with someone someone else, someone new, um, and this person might, act, might not actually come in during February, but their energy will be around you during February, if that makes sense, okay? Because um, timing is, it's, it's tricky, you know? Um... I feel like some of you guys, you settled for this connection that you're in now because you feel like it was the best that you were going to get. I feel like some of you have been in a lot of bad relationships where you felt very unfulfilled and unsatisfied in a lot of ways, but it's what you were used to. So it's like, you know, you maybe just assumed that that was the best you were ever going to get. But the, with this card, this says, don't let your past hold you back. And what this card is saying is that just because your past relationships have been bad or unfulfilling or unsatisfying doesn't mean that that's what you have to settle for, okay? That doesn't mean that that's the best you're ever going to get. Okay, um, you just have to keep looking and keep waiting if that's what it takes, okay? But don't give up on that, you know, don't give up on something real, something meaningful, just because you haven't found it yet. We also have release your ex. So whoever, if you are involved with someone right now, say goodbye. Um, let let it go. Um, show them the door, and because you have to, um, you have to get ready for this for this new beginning that's coming your way. Um, you have to work on loving yourself. I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, you might struggle with self-love. Um, but, you know, overall, you've got to focus on preparing for this Ace of Cups moment that's coming towards you. Okay. Um, and just getting yourself ready to take a leap. All right. Take the risk. This says you go first and the universe will catch you. So it's like, let this person that you're with now go, even though being alone might seem scary to you. Let it go, because there's something so much better on its way. Okay? So group number four, that's really all the messages that I'm getting for you today. This was another real quick one. Um, but this is good. It's like 2019 is going to it has so many good things in store for you. And I think that's the case for pretty much everybody. Okay, you know, because we're nearing the end of a cycle. You know, this year being a nine, it's like, this is the end of this past decades, you know, energy. You know, it's going to be falling away so that in the new decade, we're going to be starting over. We're going to have... Start over with a clean slate, okay? Um, so you gotta you gotta work on clearing away the past and um, to make room for the future, okay? That's basically it. Um, all right, group four, that's your reading. I hope that makes sense, um, and I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. I do love to hear from you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number five. All right, group number five, what's coming your way in February 2019? So, um, the first cards that came out were the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So, with the Ace of Swords, I am seeing some kind of new start coming for you. And with it being swords, it feels like you're going to be receiving some 
truth, some type of clarity about something that has been on your mind a lot. Um, with the Seven of Cups, I'm also seeing that in February, um, you may find yourself having a lot of options. You may find yourself having some type of decision to make, okay? Um, which means you could, uh, you could find yourself having to choose between two or more, um, people, okay? Because we also have the two of wands, all right, which is another card about decisions, and then we also have choose a new direction. So, all three of these cards are saying, you're going to have to make a choice this month, um, and you, and you may have to decide, you know, um, to leave behind, you know, what you've been putting effort into to go in a different direction. Um, for some of you guys, I am feeling like there is some element of divine timing here because we have the religious factors card. Um, we also have abundance and we have listen to your intuition. So I feel like you guys are attracting a lot of abundance to you. Um, I feel like you're operating in a very high vibration, which, you know, makes sense because if, if you have a lot of different options, you know, um, your energy is good, which is going to attract people to you, okay? Um, but basically, I'm seeing that you're going to have to be very closely listening to your intuition when you make this decision. Um, or you, you may already know what choice you're going to make once you're presented with the choice. Okay. Um, because sometimes the two of wands can talk about a decision that's already been made. Um, so I'm seeing that some of you guys have been involved with someone new or fairly new and you know, you may be thinking um, that it's going well and it might be going well. However, I'm seeing someone else coming towards you. Um, and I think for a lot of you, this other person is somebody that you've already been dealing with, um, that you dealt with in the past, that maybe you have taken a break from. It's It feels like somebody that you've really been in a stagnant situation with because we have the six of wands and I pulled out the hanged man in the reverse as the clarifier. So with the six of wands, this is like victory and success. Um, and the hanged man reversed talks about, you know, energy becoming unstuck. So it's like this, this other person that you, um, that might be coming towards you is someone who you thought had a lot of potential in the past, but something happened where, you know, the energy just got stuck. The situation just stopped progressing, but now it's like, you know, they're going from being hang hanging upside down, being stuck to being upright. Um, getting out of that stagnant energy and actually like making the choice to come towards you. And for some of you guys, it, it's too late for them. Um, but for others of you, you may decide to choose them because, um, I'm, I'm getting that one or the other of these love interests, and it could be even more than two for some of you, I don't know. Um, but whatever the case is, um, make sure you have all the information before you make your decision, okay? Because for some of you guys, I'm seeing that, you know, one or more of the people that you're dealing with has, you know, elements of their personality that you're not totally aware of. Okay, we have show the world a real you. So for some of you, you're dealing with someone who 
hasn't shown you their true selves yet. Okay. And when they do that, it's like, you might really second guess being with them. Okay. And, you know, this could be the old person, you know, that you already know, or this could be the, the more, the more, <laughs> the more new person that you've been dealing with. It's going to be different for each of you, but whatever the case is, make sure you have all the information before you make the choice, okay, of who to go with, okay? Um, but I feel very strongly for a lot of you, somebody from your past is going to be coming back because we have conclusions are within reach. So this talks about the end of a cycle, right? This talks about some cycle concluding. So, you know, this cycle of being delayed, being stagnant, being stuck is coming to an end, right? Um, so that a new cycle can begin, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Um, so yeah, for some of you, I definitely see that you're going to end up making the decision to um, give this person from your past another chance. For others of you, I'm seeing that you're going to, you know, choose to stick with this newer person. Um, whatever you do, make sure you are listening to your intuition and trust. This card says trust your path. So you've got to trust that the universe is going to take you in the direction that is, you know, for your highest good. Okay. Um, and if something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Okay. Um, we also have stay optimistic about your love life. So for some of you guys, I'm seeing that you're not looking forward to having to make any kind of decisions. For some of you, I think you're probably feeling like, um, you know, why can't this person from the past just stay in the past? Um, but, you know, <laughs> it feels like this situation, like I said, is being divinely guided. Um, so they have to come back. They don't have a choice, really. <laughs> um, we also have Unbound. It says releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So, yeah, I do feel like you have a soul connection with at least one of these people. Probably the person from your past. And, um... Like I said, some of you are going to choose to release them and stick with this newer person that you've been connecting with, um, and others of you are going to release the newer person and choose choose this person from your past. It's it's t entirely up to you, um, and you know the right. I can't tell you what the right choice is is going to be because it's different for all of you. Um, but yeah, just uh, stay optimistic. Um, and make sure that you are listening to your intuition and listening to your guides, looking for signs about, you know, what choice you should make. Because the universe is going to do everything that it can to push you in the right direction, okay, you guys? So, that is your February of 2019 prediction. Um, like I said, for all the other readings, um, this stuff... It may not necessarily actually happen in February, but this is the energy that is going to be around you in February. So exact timing can be very fickle um, because everybody has free will and every choice that we make affects future outcomes. So um, keep in mind that it could be March when this, you know, actually goes down. It could come before February, um, if you're watching this before, you know, energy is very fluid, okay? So just keep that in mind. This is not an exact science by any means. All right, group five, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear uh, what you guys think. Also, um, thank you for watching. I hope I see you next time, and we're going to move on now to group six. All right, group number six, what is coming your way in February 2019? So I'm getting a pretty straightforward message from these cards here. Um, you guys, there's a hair on this card. Um, you guys who chose this option, um, 
you've struggled a lot in the past, I'm seeing. You may have been deceived by someone that you really trusted and loved. Um, I feel like you've been struggling to stay optimistic, okay? Because somebody has, I mean, somebody has hurt you a lot. We've got the Ten of Swords, and we also have the Ten of Wands. So you've been involved in some situation that's really been kind of a burden to you. Um, it's really been weighing down your, your thoughts and your energy. Um, and it could have been with somebody who was kind of like a, a vampire in the sense that they just took and took and took and took, you know, they just kind of like sucked up all your time and energy and never really gave anything back. Um, and it was like, I feel like you were doing pretty much all the work, like, like probably at least 90% of the work in this, in the relationship. And that is very draining, you know, that takes a lot out of you. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that February is going to be the month where you are going to have to take time out to yourself to recover from this so that you will be ready for something new, for something better. Because we have, there's something better. We have recovery. We have inner temple, tune into the portal of your heart, and we have align your life. And both of these cards, you know, they, um, well, this one is about, you know, realigning your energy, realigning your chakras. Um, and inner temple is like getting back in touch with your inner self, your essence, you know, what makes you you. Um, healing your heart. I think you guys need to work on self-love. We've got bring love into the situation. Um, also, for some of you guys, I'm seeing that there's going to be somebody new coming towards you. Probably not actually in February, but at a later time. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this, I feel like, is going to be somebody coming towards you who... Um, is going to be a lot more stable than whoever you've been involved with in the past. And I feel like it's going to be somebody who's going to be very rational, very practical, very down to earth, um, possibly an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just saying, you know, they could just have those kinds of qualities, but just really, um, I feel a sense of calm and, you know, being very laid back and I think that's the kind of energy that you would really benefit from being around um, and I'm also seeing that it would be somebody who would be much more generous with you who would be you know not like this other person who just takes and takes and takes I feel like this person would give just as much as they take okay um, and I'm also seeing that, you know, this would be a situation where you would actually feel very loved and very cared for. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that you just need to, you need to take time out to heal and you need to remain optimistic. If you're still involved with this other person, you need to release them. However, I'm not really seeing that many of you are. I feel like a lot of you have already moved away from this person. You just have to um, focus now on taking care of yourself and remaining optimistic, okay? We also have don't let your past hold you back. So I think it was group four who also got this card. And basically what I told them was, I think it has the same meaning here, you know, just because you've been in a lot of bad relationships or you've never had a relationship where you felt really valued, that doesn't mean that that's the only thing you're ever going to get. Okay. Um, so, so, you know, don't settle. 
okay? Don't settle for someone or something that isn't giving you everything that you feel like you need, okay? And finally, we have look for a sign. So I think that when this new person is about to come into your life, you're going to start seeing signs or receiving signs. It could be in the form of dreams, um, synchronicities, you know, I am of the belief that when we see signs, like, usually we know, okay, usually there's something inside of us that tells us, hey, that's important, <laughs> okay, um, and you just have to recognize that that is your that's the voice of your intuition. And if you're not good at recognizing that voice, then work on um, tuning into it, okay? So group number six, that is really all the messages that I'm getting for you today. Uh, February, you're going to want to focus a lot on healing and developing self-love, okay? So that you'll be ready for something so much better to come in. Okay, you guys. So that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. I love to read your uh, comments, you guys. And um, if you're from a previous group and you're still here, thank you for sticking around. Um, I really appreciate all your support, you guys. It's really, um, it really means a lot to me. Um, all my links, of course, are in the description, like I said at the beginning. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching, and I hope I see you guys next time. Bye!